Hello and welcome back to A Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. Today we'll be finishing one of my favorite scenes in nature. Now we started our canvas last episode, but today we'll be adding just a little bit more to the scene. For our colors, they're going to be displayed on the screen, and on our canvas we started the sky tone and mountains are done, but we're going to be adding just a little bit more today to perfect the scene. Let's start with some happy little trees. I love my big old trees, so let's add some using the oval brush. For colors, we're going to be using nature green and some mud brown. Let's load this brush full of color. This is a happy place. Little squirrels live here and play. Make sure to have happy thoughts or realistic thoughts when painting. Let's do a tree here. And for this little tree, let's add some fire red to give that pop. Pop, pop, pop. This scene was inspired by California and their big, beautiful fires. That looks great. Now for our stream, why don't we mix some chemical blue and some titanium white to make a bright, light blue. We're going to let this little body of water wander around in the distance. We really don't know where it's going, and we really don't care. You don't always have to have a perfect vision in your mind of what you want to paint. Just let your imagination take you anywhere you want to go. It's so important to do something every day that'll make you happy. And don't forget some small gray for depth and water pollution. There's so much floating around in our streams today. Fertilizer, runoff, trash, oil leaking from cars. So many beautiful shades to choose from. Now, as our stream is happily moving towards the ocean, let's add some plastic. Let's use a little toxic orange. Eventually, this plastic will find freedom in the ocean, just like we can find freedom in art. Did you know that around 8 million pieces of plastic make their way to the ocean each year? <laughs> Hazard yellow. Tap, tap, tap. What the heck? Some fire red, too. That looks great. Some plastic friends for our little fish. Our scene wouldn't be complete without some factories. This looks like a good location right here. So let's take some small gray and oil spill black and mix those together to create a darker gray. Now, as we're dabbing on this darker gray, let's drop these little rascals. Today we have many types of factories which make all kinds of useful things. We also have these great big coal-fired power plants that make our electricity, but they also produce a lot of pollution and greenhouse gases. But we can paint whatever you want today. This is our world. Oops, well, everyone has happy accidents. Let's just turn this into an oil spill with our oil spill black. This kind of thing happens all the time, you know? Did you know that power plants are the largest contributors of industrial water pollutants? The EPA found instances where power plants dump pollutants such as mercury, arsenic, and lead into surface water, such as this little stream right here. Let's add some happy little clouds coming out of these pipes with our small gray. Keep that brush moving. Just let them play in there. Toxic clouds are one of the freest things in nature. Sulfur dioxide, greenhouse gases, particles. Some little friends to join these clouds. All these lovely toxins floating around together all over the world. Maybe in our world there's just this big old cloud of small gray right up in here. He just kind of floats around and has a good time polluting the area all day. Now as we take a minute to look over our work today, why don't we add a little bit more fire to these trees over here. Just like a laugh, fire is contagious. So let's make this a fire every tree can get. Today in nature, forest fires are just as normal as live trees. I think a little more fire is just what this painting needs, making it even more realistic. Now let's sign our piece of art. Just like the world, this painting is ending pretty quickly. So don't forget to tell these special people in your life just how special they are to you. Thank you for joining me on this great day. God bless you and happy apocalypse.